Hello. We have returned to the outside of the house because today was 17 degrees and for me that just means it's a work outside day or don't work at all day. So we worked outside. Um, first off I'm going to show what, what my uncle's basically built today all by his lonesome because <laughs> me and my mum are busy doing something else. <laughs> this is now the side of the driveway so I mean eventually this is all going to be paved and you know all that good good stuff but these are planters so my mum can finally put like her cascading roses in and he's kind of made like these little seating areas if like people just want to lean over the fence or you know like that on well obviously this isn't in yet <laughs> we didn't quite get round to this because um my uncle actually fell off this wall not yesterday but like a couple of days ago and he still hasn't gone to any &E. um he still refuses to go and i'm just like you have probably broken your rib I think he knows he's broken his rib. He's now decided he's taking two days off, so I'm like, you totally know you've broken your rib and you still won't go. <laughs> but you know, whatever. He's deciding to sleep off. <laughs> so anyway, we didn't do the banister because of that. But he did finish this side along here. So this is like all nice and neat now. This has just reminded me that the chickens are actually out and I have yet to chase them inside. Um, yeah, I'll need to do that at some point. Um, just on something, oh yeah, if you don't like bugs, um, look away. But we have a hatching butterfly here. Don't know how long she's been there. Um, she is alive. She's alive. Uh, uh, quite looking forward to when she uh, emerges from that cocoon. Anyway, um, mooching on down here, which is something I need to do anyway, because if the chickens that are out there are going to be down here. Um, I want to show you what my mum built today. I just did a lot of walking with a wheelbarrow and granted the wheelbarrow had heavy shit in it but still most of what I did today was walking. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is what my mum has actually built. So she's interwoven all those nice lovely sticks there to create like essentially a pseudo wall. This is actually going to hold the bank up at the top and then we're going to have some steps going down the side and a decking area at the top, which will be for the customers of the holiday lap. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna have their own little viewing area. <laughs> um, I am just gonna check down here really quick just to see if any of the chickens are down here. I can't hear them though. Cuckoo! No. No, I don't think they're down here. Um, I'm just gonna check, I will check the hutch. <laughs> just to be absolutely sure. <laughs> Um, I need to count nine of them. Nine glorious chickens. I've only had three eggs today. And I think my mum's right, it is downtown which we're feeding them. But I also think they're just getting too hot. <laughs> but I've given them a watermelon today. They've got they've got treats and I can see mum's on the food. So and no one's hiding out in this hutch, so yeah, I'm just gonna shut this now. And then uh, Entering the chicken hutch. So you guys have been in here with me a couple of times now. <laughs> but uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you the chicken's new sleeping arrangements. Because um, <laughs> I actually think it's kind of funny. So we need to count nine chickens. Um, we'll just have to see. I have already taken this off once today so they're going to be very perturbed with me. <laughs> and off. And here we go. So as you can see they like sleeping on top of each other. There is a very squished Percy down there somewhere under three, like two sets of wings. So that's three, five. Okay, five is a good start. Now I didn't see Coco, Pom Pom or Bertha. And they're the three that are usually outside. So oh, this could get very annoying very quickly. Five. Uh, hello, six. Yeah. There is no Coco, Pom Pom or Bertha. The famous three. Great. Okay, I'm gonna go walk around like an absolute lunatic now. I'm trying to locate my three missing chickens. God, I love doing this. <laughs> but yeah. Um, actually, I may as well show you what I did today. I feel listening out for them now <laughs> as I'm going around. Um, so originally we actually had a load of logs back here 
Um, we've still got part of the pile there. And then my uncle's moved these because he was working on the wall. That would move back in just like a minute or two. Cuckoo! Um, <laughs> so, we had a load of logs there. This is where all the rats have been coming from. So, I mean, you can actually see like, the, the, the digging holes out everywhere. So we've removed a big chunk of the logs. Hopefully that solves most of the issue. My mum's also going to move the bird feeders because we've got to, at least until it calms down. Apparently it's also because the farmers planted barley, like, next door, and barley is, like, perfect rat food. So, but yeah, they're like all animals. They don't make a nest where the food is. They make a nest next to where the food is or near where the food is and we just happen to be the first house that's near where the food is which is just typical i'm a bit concerned actually i haven't heard any of the chickens so anyway i took all those logs and i walked them this way <laughs> all the way past my uncle while he was working Cuckoo. hang on that's our movement. God, this is exhausting. Nope. Apparently I've already walked five miles today. Literally, it was five miles worth of walking back and forth. That is how I know I am absolutely bloody knackered. And I should not be doing this. <laughs> but I am doing it. So whatever. Still not seeing them. Really not seeing them. They will turn up. They'll be in the grass somewhere. There's some around here. Anyway, this is what I did today. All those logs. All of them. <laughs> Normally I share the job with someone, but nope. I did that. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. I really can't see my chickens, like anywhere. Coco usually comes to me, so, okay. Now I'm gonna go like and panic until I find them. Unless they've gone inside, because the holiday light door is open. And that is highly, highly possible. <sighs> We've also had the farmers bring the cows down today, so there's a big stampede on the road, and I know that the chickens get frightened when there's big noises, so that's just like, no. They're round here somewhere. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go hunt in earnest, because that is literally all I did today. All I did today. <laughs> We're not even done. We're literally emptying all of the logs into that thing until it gets, like, reaches the, the ground level at the top, and then it's being covered in soil and literally being, like, whacked down after that. So, yeah, it's a job and a half. But anyway, that's for me to stress about later. Chickens.